Hi, my name is Dr. Jane Hendricks, and I'm going to speak to you about some of the side effects of the COVID-19 vaccine by Moderna and Pfizer, and what exactly is happening in the body, and how we can possibly mitigate this and treat these symptoms or sequela. As you know, COVID-19, the illness, for some was just like a minor cold, for others a little bit more serious. So just like with the flu, it's another flu virus, um, we've actually have quite a few coronavirus variants that have been around causing colds and flus um, within the human race for um, ever. <laughs> Not sure why this one got so much attention, but it did. Um, and just like with other flus, there can be some complications, um, chronic pain, and then the inflammatory cycle, if um, I'm not sure how much the media covered it, but it was definitely, if you researched into some of the medical literature, it explained the process of the inflammation that was going on um, for some patients. And there's definitely some predispositions that set up a per that set would set you up to have that inflammatory cycle, such as obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, just like with the flu. Um, it's going to be more serious in a patient with some of these pre-existing conditions. Also, what wasn't really covered by mainstream media or even um, by the immunologists that had the forefront of the media, um, even some supplements, some apparently healthy patients, but in, in the world of epigenetics, which I treat, um, I understand that there were some epigenetic factors testosterone injections, glutamine powders, folic acid, that could set up a person that is apparently healthy to possibly have an inflammatory cycle if they didn't jump on the flu virus quick enough. All a person had to do um, to treat this and to avoid all of those unwanted complications or being sick from home is to treat it right away. There's a two curves to the, to the coronavirus uh, 19 flu. The first curve is immune system activation. So if you can get through the immune system activation, then you'll avoid that longer lasting, uncomfortable inflammatory cycle, the second curve. Immune activation, again, like with any cold and flu, you go to bed, you um, take your supplements, lots of vitamin C, and probably would have already been taking this just to get ahead of it so that you would avoid the inflammatory cycle if you were taking vitamin D, vitamin C. So if you're already taking these supplements and you contacted COVID-19, you probably wouldn't even, it would just be a few days. If you weren't, you'd probably quickly try to take them quickly to get through that immune activa activation curve. It may be quick enough, may not be, but um, again, this is the beauty of naturopathic medicine is that we educate patients, pandemic or not, flu season or not, on what supplements to take. So, you know, um, in case the environment offers this unpredictable situation, whether it be chemical exposure or virus, your body's already set up. It's just, it's like the military. You're always in preparedness. You take care of your military, you feed them, you don't neglect them, starve them. And then all of a sudden you expect them to activate and fight a full-fledged battle against this huge monster, it's not gonna go very well. So we like patients to invest a little into their health. I know we're not used to doing that because we're used to paying for insurance plans instead, but to invest in your health because insurance is sick pay and learn about some of this stuff and then you're ahead of the game, not behind. So same with the vaccine. Why? Because it's inserting an mRNA to instruct your body to make a spiked protein that's that mimics the COVID-19 virus. So basically you're going to tell your cells to make the protein that looks like COVID-19, the spiked protein, so that your body will think it has COVID-19 and respond. Again, if you have predispositions and you're not so healthy and you're not, didn't have your military prepared properly, it may not be a pretty picture when you get the vaccine. If your immune system is balanced and you're really healthy, um, then hopefully you won't have any adverse effects like thousands and thousands and thousands of people are having. Some have died, some are permanently disabled, some you know, just got the flu. We don't know until 14 months to two years after the vaccine, that's a normal study time. Unfortunately, this came onto the market in an experimental stage and we're, net, we're doing the safety studies with humans now. Um, so unfortunately, um, time will tell if some of these other patients that 
appear to be healthy now after the vaccine will still be healthy two years from now. So what can we do um, in this, in this, in what we're dealing with, um, with having to possibly get the vaccine is to do the best you can with your immune system and be in preparedness. So we can guide you and show you what epigenetic factors you currently have that could put you at risk for an inflammatory cycle upon receiving the vaccine. And we also have modalities to treat the sequela of the vaccine. Some of those modalities include a Beamer machine or a Beamer device um, that treats the electromagnetic um, waves that are in your body. So it's kind of an energy medicine, but very powerful. Chronic pain, inflammation. Um, I do NAD IVs. NAD is a powerful um, nutrient chemical that uh, your body can make if it has the proper raw materials. Um, but you can also get it high amounts of it intravenously to help balance the immune system is a big part of it. Manage oxidative stress, which that would be the vaccine, um, you know, oxidative stress. Um, how it does that is it helps manufacture some very friendly chemicals called sirtuins, which then they um, control the inflammatory chemicals, interleukin-6 and um, necrosis, tumor necrosis factor, two of the big bad boys. So if we can control the inflammatory cycle in your body after the vaccine, then you may be one of those that get off scot-free even two years from now. If it looks bad, uh, for someone um, upon getting the vaccine, I like to call it a pathogen creating, uh, experimental pathogen creating device because it doesn't really fit the definition of a vaccine. But if, if someone has gotten the vaccine, the NAD IVs will help mitigate the adverse effects and the stem cell IV. So stem cell IVs have been used um, at, for sequela of vaccines. This is not the first vaccine that's ever caused problems as we know. Um, I saw a patient a few months ago that is is uh, applying for disability a year after getting a flu vaccine. He'd gotten the flu vaccine every year for 20 years, and this one just went wrong, and he's never been the same since. Uh, very chronic, debilitating pain. Um, another uh, adverse effect of the vaccine, in addition to the physical symptoms that people are experiencing, neurological symptoms, is a cognitive dysfunction. And that worries me because that has to do with the brain. So memory loss, kind of brain fog, uh, short-term absent-mindedness, uh, and patients are not knowing how to deal with this. It's embarrassing to them. Like it's older patients as well as, you know, 40s, 50. And this, I don't think this has been reported yet um, as one of the uh, adverse effects on the CDC website, but I'm hearing it. And so that's very concerning. I think a stem cell infusion would be great. I call a stem cell IV a great reset for the immune system because it just resets the immune system. Um, the company I work with for the stem cells specializes in autoimmune conditions because they offer the high amount of stem cells that you would need for such a condition. Uh, you're not gonna get well on 10 million cells. You need a lot. The clinical trials through the FDA are showing minimum 90 million for, you know, average weighted 150 pound adult. So um, fortunately I work with the company that can offer that. And so I strongly feel that this will be a very powerful modality that I will be offering patients when they start coming through the doors with some of these adverse effects. You just need to know where to look because I know that there are patients out there that are not well now and they, it's so new and it was so fast that, you know, even doctors are kind of like, what should we do? And I know that the stem cell IV would help. I know that NAD IVs would help. Um, anything that would help the COVID-19 sequela will also help the sequela from the vaccine. Overactive immune system. Also, we can mitigate this um, by allowing us to get your medical history before you go get the injection, if you must get the injection. There's even a genetic test. It's a salivary, very simple test you do from home. And we can check your functional pathways of detoxification and some of these oxidative stress immune system pathways. And we can see before you even get the vaccine what might happen um, and treat that with supplements. We can say, you know what, you do have some predisposition for some inflammation in your, in your immune system, overactive inflammation. You already have some oxidative stress going on. Let's treat that 
and get this corrected. And then if you still feel like you need to get the vaccine, at least you've done your part to build up a healthy, balanced immune system to avoid some of these unwanted adverse effects. And again, if it happens anyway, we can treat that as well. And don't forget modalities such as acupuncture and cupping. Very powerful modalities. So simple, so powerful. So visit my website, Naturopathic Doctor for You. Fill out an online request if you'd like a 10-minute free consultation because I'd be happy to answer your questions. I know all of this is new and more, I'm sure, will be coming out um, in regards to treatments for the sequela of the vaccines. And so I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. And then you can call my office and make an appointment and uh, we'll get you back on the path to wellness.